This is a disaster, Sean. I brought you in here because I wanted you to help me with the boy. Not to run him out. You know what I'm doing with the boy. I don't care if you have a rapport with the boy. I don't care if you have a few laughs, even at my expense, but don't you dare undermine what I'm trying to do here. Undermine? This boy is at a fragile point right now. I do understand. And he is at a fragile point, okay? He's got problems. Well, what problems does he have, Sean? That he's better off as a janitor? That he's better off in jail? Better off hanging out with a bunch of retarded gorillas? Oh, why do you think he does that, Jerry? Do you have any fucking clue why? Hmm? He can handle the problems. He can handle the work, and he obviously handled you. Jerry, listen to me. Why is he hiding? Why doesn't he trust anybody? Because the first thing that happened to him, he was abandoned by the people who were supposed to love him the oh, most. Oh, come on, don't give me that Floyd. All oh, right. No, listen, Jerry, and why does he hang out with those retarded gorillas, as you call them? Because any one of them, if he asked them to, would take a fucking bat to your head, okay? That's called loyalty. Yeah, it's very touching. And who's he handling? He pushes people away before they have a chance to leave him. It's a defense mechanism, all right? He's been alone because of that. And if you push him right now, it's going to be the same thing all over again, and I'm not going to let that happen to him. Now don't you do that, Sean. What, Jerry? Don't you do that. Don't infect him with the idea that it's okay to quit, that it's okay to be a failure, because it's not okay, Sean. And if you're angry at me for being, being successful, for being what you could have been, Sean... I'm not angry at you, Jerry. Oh, yes, you're angry at me, Sean. You resent me. But I'm not going to apologize for any, any success I've had. You're angry at me for doing what you could have done, but ask yourself, Sean. Ask yourself if you want Will to feel that way, if you want him to feel like a failure. Oh, you arrogant sh That's why I don't come to the damn reunions. Because I can't stand that look in your eye. You know, that condescending, embarrassed oh, look. On, you think I'm a failure. I know who I am, and I'm proud of what I do. It was a conscious choice. I didn't f up. And you and your cronies think I'm some sort of pity case. You and your kiss-ass chorus following you around going, the field's middle, the field's middle. Why are you still so <laughs> afraid of failure? <laughs> it's about my medal, is it? Oh, God, I can go home and get it for you. You can have it. Oh, please don't. You, that? you know what, Jerry? Shove the medal up your fucking ass, all right? Because I don't give a shit about your medal, because I knew you before you were a mathematical god. When you were pimple-faced and homesick and didn't know what side of the bed to piss on. Yeah, you were smarter than me then, and you're smarter than me now, so don't blame me for how your life turned out. It's not my fault. I don't blame you! It's not about you, you mathematical dick! It's about the boy! He's a good kid, and I won't see you fuck him up like you're trying to fuck up me right now. I won't see you make him feel like a failure, too. He won't be a failure, but, Sean. But if you push him, Jerry, if you Sean, ride him... I am what I am today because I was pushed and because I learned to push myself. Is that you? You get that?